Alright, in this lesson we're going to derive the derivative formulas for inverse sine, inverse tangent, and inverse secant. And so we start by just writing our original sine function, y equals sine x. It's inverse, as when you take any inverse, is x equals sine y. You just exchange the x's and the y's. And then the this is considered implicit and to write the the inverse sine explicitly we use the notation y equals inverse sine of x. So both of these equations over here are considered the inverse. We're actually going to look at, use the x equals sine y and use implicit um, differentiation. So we start with x equals sine y and we take the derivative of each side with respect to x. The derivative of x is 1. The derivative of sine y is cosine y times y prime. If I solve for y prime, I end up with y prime equals 1 over the cosine of y. So at this point, I have basically my answer is written in terms of y, and I would like to have my answer written in terms of x. And so, so when we go back to the original part of this problem up here, we have y equals the inverse sine of x. And what that means is y is the angle whose sine is x. Remember for an inverse function your input is a trig ratio and your output is a an angle and in a in a regular trig function, a basic trig function you input an angle and you output a trig ratio. So y is the angle whose sine is x. What we're going to do is set up a triangle. We've got a right triangle and we're going to call this angle y and we want to build the triangle so that x is the sine. And so if y is the angle whose sine is x, if I let the opposite be x, remember the sine of an angle is the opposite over the hypotenuse. So if I want to set this up so that the sine of this angle is x, I let the opposite be x and I let the hypotenuse be 1. Then I use the Pythagorean theorem to fill in the triangle. I know that x squared, let's call this a, plus a squared equals 1 squared. I know that a squared is equal to 1 minus x squared. I know that a is equal to it would be plus or minus the square root of 1 minus x squared. But if you, we have to decide which we want. Do we need the, the positive or do we need the negative? What we have to remember is that for the inverse, if y is the angle whose sine is x, and the, the inverse sine function has a range of value from negative pi over 2 to pi over 2. So in, you're in the first and fourth quadrant. And if you're in the first and fourth quadrant, the cosine has to be positive. So since the cosine of y is the adjacent over the hypotenuse, and I need the adjacent over the hypotenuse to be positive since I know I'm in the first or fourth quadrant, then we have to choose the positive. So a is equal to the square root of 1 minus x squared. And so if that's the case, then the cosine of y is equal to the adjacent over 1. So it would be the square root of 1 minus x squared over 1, or just the square root of 1 minus x squared. So I substitute back in. I say y prime is equal to 1 over the square root of 1 minus x squared.
So d dx of the inverse sine of x is equal to 1 over the square root of 1 minus x squared. And remember we said now from now on every new derivative formula we learn about, we derive, we're also going to look at the case where the argument is a function of x. So the inverse sine of u is going to equal 1 over the square root of 1 minus u squared times u prime or simply u prime over the square root of 1 minus u squared. So let's try, why don't you try this example by just uh, using the derivative formula for a function of x. Take a minute, you know, pause the video, take a minute and try this problem, then come back and check your answer. So we want to find the derivative of the inverse sine of x squared. So my u is equal to x squared. u prime would be equal to 2x, right? So I know that using the derivative formula, the derivative is going to be 1 over the square root of 1 minus u squared. And so that's x squared raised to the second power, which would be x to the fourth times the derivative of what's inside, the derivative of the argument, which would be 2x. Or simpler would just be to write u prime in the numerator over 1 minus x to the fourth.